though your spout diverter is not working, um, you want to take it off and you know either repair it or replace it. Um, what you want to do is first find out if it's um, threaded on or if it's uh, got a set screw underneath. Sometimes it's very hard to see, so you may want to turn on your phone and then put it underneath there so that you can see. In this case, you can see this set screw, which I loosened already. Um, and then you just go ahead, pull it out like that. You know, it takes a little bit of wiggling, but uh, there it is. Um, if it's a threaded ones, obviously you just turn it counterclockwise and then it'll let go. Then you want to lose these two screws, which I did already, and pull out the little cap underneath. Now you'll see this is where the pull is attached to. In this case, um, we should try to uh, unscrew the hat. And then this thing just comes out. That's basically where this little rubber goes in like this. And that's what goes up and down, uh, block or unblock the hole, which causes the um, shower head to turn on and off. Now you want to clean the scale around this. You want to clean the scale around that hole. And then you should be good to go. You don't actually need a brand new diverter, spout, or a repair kit. I cut a little piece of sandpaper and tape it on a flathead screwdriver so that I could reach inside and just send off where that uh, water supply hole is. Um, I used 240 grade sandpaper, but uh, if you have anything around there, you know, it'll work. Thing I'd like to say is, uh, if yours is not like mine, if yours have a lot of uh, scale build up, you know you can clean it with a uh, calcium cleaner. But um, you know, for a quicker way, if you have a tiny file like this, just go wet sand it, file it with water, and it should give you a really good result. The other thing I'd like to mention is I have seen the pull handle. That little cap here, the nut, is actually solid with a rod. Um, in my case, it was threaded so I could take it off easy. But if it's one piece, the nut and the rod is one piece, um, you're just going to have to pry it inside to remove the uh, plastic piece and the rubber. Uh, that could be a slightly pain in the ass. Sometimes you don't always make it. Uh, to save you some headaches, uh, it might be just easier to break the rod and purchase this repair kit from um, Home Depot anyways. So good luck on that and uh, hopefully you can repair yours uh, in the easy way. One trick to put back this spout is you put it in like this, you tighten it up until, you know, you cannot turn it anymore, then go back, turn a little bit so that you can spin freely without any friction. And then you put it straight, make a few turns so that it's tightened on there, just easier. Okay, time for test. There you go. So that Leaking has stopped. The shower is going nicely. We are good to go. Now, one thing I'd like to mention is, um, honestly, my spout is fairly new. Uh, it's only four years old. The um, rubber inside was in really good shape. All I had to do was um, do a little bit of cleaning, wash with water, you know, rub it with my fingers. Um, the scale went away. Now, if your rubber seems really old and it's not even run anymore, there's a little bit chip on the edges, you should go purchase this repair kit. Um, I believe Home Depot sells these for a couple bucks. Uh, it's certainly cheaper than changing out the entire uh, spout. Um, you know, 
you don't have to. You can you can replace the spout as well. But uh, personally, I just like to um, keep everything consistent compared to other showers. So this is my way of repairing this. You know, uh, if your your rubber and the um, gaskets fittings are not that old, they're in good shape. Reuse them, clean them. You know, it'll be uh, leak free. But uh, if they're in bad shape, um, purchase a repair kit.